Yo, what's cracking, peeps? T Money up in the Heezy. Tonight I am here to do a mega unboxing for you guys. Um, busy fucking day today. Got out of work, had to bring my cat to the vet, which is super stressful. Anxiety increased to the maximum. Fucking, I hate it. I hate going, bringing my cat to the vet worse than I like bringing myself to the doctors, the dentists. It's just so stressful. But anyway, after that, I did manage to stop by my local UPS store and pick up. I knew today was going to be a big day, but I didn't know it was going to be a big fucking day. Um, so yeah, super stoked. I got like eight packages here. Um, so this is going to be the combination of things that I've ordered from SRS Cinema, Umbrella Entertainment, 88 Films, Amazon, eBay, Movie Mars, bunch of different things, different sellers. So let's get down to mall fucking business and do it. So um, let me see. I'll kind of I want I like to go in order of what I think is the best for last. Save the best for the last. Best stuff for the last. But um, let's get right into this one first off, guys. Um, I don't know much about these films. This is from SRS Cinema. The early works of Todd Sheets. And I saw um, Extra the Mutilator talk about these two films in particular he had picked up. Cool, and you get your posters and your lobby card. And then, so it's uh, Sheets of Gore Volume 1 and Sheets of Gore Volume 2. So, um, I know he said, uh, Extra the Mutilator said that this isn't the best necessarily the best way to be introduced to Todd Sheets work, but fuck it. I haven't seen anything else. It's indie filmmaking. I know enough about it. So yeah, I'm excited to check these out. I guess the first one, the first volume is better than the second in his opinion. So anyway, yeah, it's just like a culmination volume one and two. Uh, Gore Master Todd Sheets has been Hitting on the blood and I'm sorry, piling on the blood and guts for nearly three decades with such shot on video classics as Zombie Bloodbath, Goblin, Violent New Breed, and many more. Recently, with hits like House of Forbidden Secrets and Dreaming Purple Neon, uh, now you see where the gore began with Todd's earliest shorts in in the compilation video. So it says warning not for the screamish or faint of heart. So yeah, this is gruesome indie filmmaking at its finest supposedly so stoked for those for sure um mm, it's like fucking christmas today so let's go with this guy right here this is from an ebay seller i don't know where my razor blades at of course it's not in front of me but that's all right, all right let's see what we got. ebay sellers all right so this looks to be a blu-ray blue rizzy Oh, Wish Upon, cool, so yeah. So this fucking, you guys probably know, this movie's going for like 45 bucks on Amazon. I don't know if it's a pricing error or what the fuck's going on, but I opted to grab this. It's just the Blu-ray, and I'm gonna put it in a standard case. Perfect, I have just the thing for that. I got a bunch of cases, because I put a bunch in the Twilight Time cases I had purchased, so. Anyway, yeah, I opted just to grab this, no digital, uh, no DVD. And yeah, so it's just the Blu-ray. That's fine though, perfect. And yeah, I've heard mixed things about this film, but what I was gonna say, losing my train of thought, I have to remember to um, not lose my train of thought, <laughs> for lack of a better word. But um, yeah, so, and I lose my train of thought, guys. Jesus fucking Christmas. Um, what the fuck was I gonna say? So yeah, $44 for this movie on Amazon and I got this for like 15 shipped just the DVD so I that's you know that's fine I, but like I said I've heard mixed things about the film we'll see all right next up guys uh, we'll go with this random Amazon package uh, looks to be two blu-rays awesome so cool good package green slime Awesome, the legendary green, you ooze, you lose slime. And also a film that um, people have been raving about actually, The Lure, so yeah, I'm stoked to check this one out too. Uh, through the grapevine, I've heard good things about this film. Um, for time's sake, I'm not gonna go into details, but yeah, check this one out if you like your art house creature feature type horror, I believe. And then also from the Warner Brothers archive collection, we have green slime. This one I will read you. 
After a perilous mission to a huge asteroid, a crew returns to its space station, unaware that a bit of ooze from the asteroid clings to a crewsman's uniform. The green goop grows into murderous tentacled monsters, and as station members fight to live, gunk from the monster's wounds turns into more monsters. That's the story. Now enjoy as, your, as our heroes fight to preserve Earth and unintentionally our own senses of humor with a movie that Kevin Thomas of the Los Angeles Times called one of the funniest made made in Japan sci-fi monster movies ever. Uh, Kinju Fukasaku, whose later work was championed by Quentin Tarantino, directs, uh, the world would be far more bleak and joyless place, would be a far more bleak and joyless, uh, I can't fucking talk today, without Marvel's like the green slime. That was butchered to shit. All right, guys. Um, so yeah, stoked for those releases for sure. All right, I'm trying to get it together here. All right. Next up, we have a package from Movie Mars. I don't remember what this is at all, so I'm sure as soon as I see it, I will. But all right. So in this package, we have a DVD. Oh, cool. I know what it is just from the just from that um, killer breast movie. Fuck. Um, yeah, killer titties. Debbie Rashawn, I think, is in it. Can't motion pictures. A killer rack. So really stoked to have this one. I'm late to the bus on this one. Just uh, I got a really good deal on this. This was like eight bucks or something. Um, on Movie Mars, surprisingly, or 10 bucks or something like that. So anyway, yeah, cool. Killer rack, baby. All right, guys. I'm just trying to see which one I want to do first here. Severn Films. Uh, let's go with this one. All right, here's another one from... Um, Amazon.com. We have a Blu ray. Cool, the hidden, a new feature. Another one from the archive collection. Really cool. Um, well, not a new feature, but a new release. First time on Blu ray. This might even be the first time on DVD. It says a cross between Invasion of the Body Snatchers and the Terminator. So, really cool. Um, yeah, I want to say this is pretty. Maybe the DVD was out of... I could totally be wrong. I'll stop talking. All right, guys. Next up, we've got three golden packages. Uh, take your pick. 88 Films, Umbrella, or Severin. I'm going to go with Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. If he holla, let him go. My mother said to pick the very best one. You are it. Severin goes first. So, yeah. This actually... So, I, I contacted Severin, and I like didn't hear back for a while. So... I didn't know what the deal was because I knew that like uh, Diabolic had gotten their shipments in and Amazon had theirs. So obviously they're gonna take care of those kind of customers before myself. But I was like, all right, so what's the deal? It's getting kind of late here. So anyway, um, cool. Wow, I don't know if they threw this in or what because I didn't. Oh yeah, so I guess the bundle, the Devil's Bundle from Severn Films for like thirty-five dollars was the pin, unless they're just shorting me on something. I don't remember and the devil's honey this is actually a really nice slip case oh okay so it's limited so maybe that's what it is i got number 698 out of a thousand as you can see there really nice the devil's honey uh fulci film that i've actually never seen before really 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 nice slip cover maybe that's what it was you get the slip the pin and the blu-ray there for 35 bucks done um i love these companies so much vinegar syndrome severin my favorite uh, for real, like among the among the best. Arrow, Vinegar Syndrome, and Severn are probably like my three favorite companies. So yeah, I finally obviously got a hold of somebody at Severn and yeah, I don't know. Does anybody else know if anybody pre-ordered this? Did you get yours a while ago? Am I late to the party on this or is that just how they were getting them out? No big deal at all. I'm just stoked to have this now so I can give it a watch. 
Don't really know anything about the film either. It's one of those Fulci films that flew through my radar for sure. Um, so really nice release here. I got a little collection of these pens now. I've got the, and that's actually a really cool one too. Lucio Fulci. Now that's classy. All right, guys. Next up we have, we'll do the umbrella. I'll save the 88 films for last just because it's, I think it's a cool one. It might even be two, but I think it just feels like one. So, so next up we've got a package from the Aussie land of Umbrella Land. Umbrella Land of Aussie Land. Um, two. Yeah, so I had ordered two films this go around from them. I got Dark Age recently and so cool. Let's see what we got. Just like some brochures, stuff that I don't really care about. I'll just look it up online. All right, so first up we have a film that I honestly just blind bought simply because I thought that the cover art looked cool on that. This one's called Out of the Shadows. Um, it says, welcome to your new home. Moving in, moving in was the easy part. Unaware of its dark and sinister history, police detective Eric Hughes and his pregnant wife Katrina move into their dream home, sparking a chain of events destined to haunt them beyond their wildest nightmares. Featuring their, I'm sorry, fearing their baby is being tormented by a supernatural force, they seek the help of a renegade demonologist, uh, played by Lisa Chappelle, um, let's see, who must investigate the past to save the family. What they uncover reveals a threat that not only wants to destroy them, but claim their very souls. Out of the Shadows is a terrifying tale of suburban supernatural mayhem in the creepy tradition of Insidious, The Conjuring, and The Babadook. So, so I don't know, has anybody seen this film? Does anybody know? Have any thoughts on it? Um, again, I just really dug that cover artwork kind of. It's not as cool in person. <laughs> but yeah, so there's the disc there. And this one is region, disc format, region four. So I think that's pal. I could be wrong, um, but yeah, so. And last up, oh wow, cool. Wait, so I got my copy of The Devil's Rejects, but I had ordered something else too, I thought. Sorry about that. I've always wanted to start. Ah, fuck it. I'll check it out later. But anyway, yeah. So, really cool. Um, honestly, I'm a big fan of The Devil's Rejects. I really, really like this film. It's my favorite Rob Zombie film by far. So, when I saw they were releasing this, I figured I'd give it a shot because the American Blu-ray of this film is okay. The, the American Blu-ray of... Um, House of a Thousand Corpses is fantastic. If, if the transfer was as good as it was for Devil's Rejects, I wouldn't have even bothered with this upgrade as it is for House of a Thousand. But because I was just willing to gamble on this, I really dug the cover artwork there. It's pretty sick looking. And yeah, so let's see. The other side is the same artwork, just no logo, which is awesome. Love when they do that, when Umbrella gives you, well, when UK companies, give you that option it's a dope beat right here jack this up a little bit so yeah stoked to have that now I'm like bugging because I don't remember what else I thought I had ordered from them but shit fuck it all right last up guys damn we blew through eight packages we're only at 14 minutes not bad all right so we have a release from 88 films And what's it gonna be? This really does feel like it's just one disc, so I think I'll probably get, uh, yeah, it is. Oh, cool, all right, so this is the Vault Collection. The um, the um, MIA Vault, so there was only one that I didn't purchase, just I was kind of sleeping on it because I just barely purchased this film from Full Moon uh, when it came out, so I decided not to, but then I was like, ah, fuck it, I had some points that I used uh, from 88 to grab this for like pretty cheap, so really nice, comes with a slip. Now I have all four of the vaults, and I just ordered the fourth one too. Um, what is that? Um, Viper um, Street Trash, I think, is coming out, right? Yeah, I think so. I pre ordered that. So, yeah, really cool though. Really nice. I love these uh, Vault series from 
88, which is one of my favorite film companies as well. Did I not mention that when I said the four? Severin, 88 Films, Vinegar Syndrome, Arrow, those are all, they're all great. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Shit, I feel like I got time to kill. I blew through that, but anyway, have a good night, peace.